The Spirit of Isle Royal. My series wraps up this morning. Going to the island, sharing the experience with all of you, bringing a place not easily accessible to your living rooms, it's meant the world to me. Isle Royal is remote, it's wild, it's pristine and untouched. It's as unique of a place as I've ever visited. I treasure the moments, the people, and the opportunity to explore. In part five, the spirit of Isle Royal saying yes to adventure, Myself, Kristen Ogenimi, Cindy Baker, and Teal Rintala continue our backpacking in Windigo on the southwest side of the island. You gotta come further than it's the dock, eh? Windigo is special. It is full of life and excitement. The people we met here are extraordinary, not just because of the research they're doing, but because of their willingness to share it with all of those who visit Isle Royal. For them, it is part of the experience. And for us, it made us feel welcome. We felt like we understood the island better. As we took our day hikes around Windigo, it was as if we saw things we hadn't before. We were quieter, each step more deliberate, and we were rewarded. Not just with blooming flowers and enchanting forest views, but also with our first moose sighting. She seemed to watch us with the same curiosity as we had with her. One of around 1,800 on the island, and she would not be our last. We saw this one running away from our sounds and others that happened too quickly to even grab a camera. My expectations was I was going to see a lot of moose. <laughs> Fortunately, we only seen a couple, you know, and that was them running off. And that is something we found here. Moments too special and too beautiful to even attempt to capture, knowing we could never do them justice. My favorite moment is the surprise of the supermoon and being able to watch that rise and come up on the horizon was pretty beautiful. There's not even, I want to explain it and tell everybody about it when I get home, but I know that there's just not a group of words that could even capture how beautiful that was. It was a beautiful, beautiful moment. Moments we will hang on to and reminisce about for years to come. And that includes the challenging times as well. This is day six, and this is probably the least favorite part of my trip, is these boat rides. But we all did it. We pushed through those uncomfortable moments, and we are better for it today. Lessons only to come from a trip like this, ones only found in nature. It's magic here. It's like nowhere else I've been to. It's totally untouched wilderness. By day eight, we all felt ready to go, and yet we agreed we would be happy to stay a few more days. We settled on the fact we will return. Oh, I'll be back. Mm -hmm. I don't think that you can come and not come back. Now, I said it at the start of this series, but it's worth repeating. Isle Royal National Park is the least visited park in the United States. It's also the most revisited, and it's easy once you're there to understand why. This was my second time visiting the island, and yet I have so much more to see. I'm already planning a visit in 2022. In total, we hiked over 40 miles. We spent 16 hours on ferry boats. We spent seven nights and eight eight days traveling the entire perimeter of the island. We took in the sights and listened to nature and enjoyed every moment. We truly took it all in. I'm grateful to Cindy, Kristen, and Teal, and to all of those who gave us a glimpse into the spirit of Isle Royal. And I also want to mention Kristen Ogenimi is working on a special discovering about our trip. So tune into that on Monday at 6.30 Central, 7.30 Eastern, right here on TV6.